it's time to unlock some engineers, and we are starting with Farseer. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Now I've decided to start yet another small series, well maybe not that small, but another series, where I'm going to go over all the engineers. I'm going to go over all the small tips and tricks, all the small things that are nice to know when you are unlocking a specific engineer. And today we are starting with Farseer. Um, the reason why I want to start with Farseer is because she's most likely the the first engineer you want to unlock because she does grade 5 uh, frameshift drive upgrades. Um, that means that you can increase the range of your frameshift drive. So even if you are unlocking other engineers, I would actually recommend that you go to her first and unlock her so you can get access to that longer jump range because that's going to help you out a lot, going to speed up your process, even though she's maybe not be, uh, be a uh, prerequisite for the engineer you actually want to unlock. So. To unlock engineers, you need to go through uh, three phases, and the first thing you need to know, uh, you need to do, is you need to know where the engineer is actually located. Now, if you go over here to your status tab, you go to view engineers. You will most likely see we can see Farshir, for instance. Um, we can see down here in the lock that there are three steps you need to go through to unlock this engineer. Now the first step is always, uh, this is the same for all of them, not the same steps, but there are the same, same three general steps. First, you need to learn about the engineer, know that the engineer actually exists and where they're located. Second step is to get an invitation from the engineer, engineer to come to their engineering facilities and, uh, and actually land there. And the third one is then to unlock them. The unlocking is then most likely a uh, some kind of mission, you need something you need to hand in, something you need to do, that depends on on the engineer. Now, we can see in the log that to learn about Farshir, to get the knowledge of her, that comes from public data sources. So that's public knowledge. Um, you're going to have access to her from the start of the game, um, pretty early on at least. So, so that's not a problem. You should always have that. You should have her in here in the known engineers window here. So we're going to move straight on to, uh, to the second step. That is, you gain access to the um, to the facilities, get the invitation. Now, to do that, you need to reach the rank of scout, and that means you go over here. You can see on my status that currently my exploration rank is elite. You can see here the third small bird icon. Now, that needs to be scout. That's a fairly low rank. You should maybe you already have it, but if you haven't. Um, you can go out, you can do some exploration, and uh, you only need like 270,000 credits worth of data to reach the scout rank, so it's, it's pretty easy. But as with many of these engineers, you can actually do several of the steps at the same time. I mean, you can begin to, to complete your next step before you even have the invitation. Now, so if you're not scout yet, what I suggest you do is you fit yourself an exploration ship. And you go out and begin to explore. Now, if you're not a scout yet, you probably haven't done much much exploration to, uh, to start with. So I suggest you go and watch my video on your first exploration ships. That gives you some pointers to what you need to fit and what modules are good, what ships are good, and depending on your price range. Because I don't want to go into too much detail with that in this video. So go over and watch that. Click the Moin Fi Cone where, icon, wherever that is. So... So once you have your exploration ship, that we can look at the, at the third step here, that is you need to get a metal alloy. Now, now these metal alloys, you can get these from these alien uh, uh, barnacles that are on the surface of some planets, mostly down in the Pleiades sector. So if we open up our galaxy map, we can see here, this is where Farsha is located, like in the outer edge of the bubble, well, not too much towards the center, but that's okay. Now, the Pleiades sector is over here next to Maya, so I think it's about 400 light years out there. So it's a decent distance to fly. And that's why you can actually um, do two tasks as one. Because if you're not scout yet, what you can do is you can get your exploration ship. You can fly towards the, the location that we're going to look at in a bit. Um, and then just scan some planets uh, along the way. And that should uh, give you enough data to be scout once you come back. Because you're not going to get the rank right away. You have to find a station where you can actually sell it. But luckily there are plenty of stations in uh, in system. For instance, here's a station where you can sell your data and that should give you up to the scout rank once you come back. So you scan systems on your way out and systems on your way back if you're not scout already. But the system um, the system that we're heading to, hold on, let me get this from my notes here. There we go. 
is Pleiades sector OI dash T C3 7, which is all the way down here, as I said, down in the in the close to Meyer. And um, so we need to head that, that will be in the description. So we need to head to that system. Um, and once you're in that system, let's open up the system map here. There we go. You need to head to the sixth planet, which is this one here. And on that planet, you need to move through a specific set of coordinates. I'm gonna go with that in a little bit, and then you're gonna get your um, your meta alloys. But um, so let's head down to uh, to the system and let's get ourselves some meta alloys. Once you are in the Pleiades sector and in the in the right system, of course, you need to head out to planet. Where's that? A six, I think. Yeah, A six, right here. Again, honk the system with your scanner and scan some of the planets while you're here, because you don't have the inspiration data anyway. Head to that planet, and then head to where the coordinates minus forty, uh, yeah, minus forty two point seven seven and minus twenty one point seven zero. And you can see them here on screen and everything, system name and everything will be in the description below. And I also put a link to a video about how to navigate by coordinates. So if you're not familiar with that, there will also be a video up on that. So you can go and, and watch that. Okay, so once we're here, you of course see these uh, structures here. And this is what all the fuss is about. Because on these pillars, we can drive around these and we can see on these pillars, some of them will have these, um, have these big green uh, things growing on them so if we shoot this there we go this mining fragment pops up so we're gonna open up our cargo scoop target it and drive over it and you can now see that our inventory have one meter alloy which was of course what we needed now you can stay around here stick around here um if you want sometimes uh, thargoids will come by here and uh, it, it's quite a sight in itself so if if you haven't seen that maybe stick around it can take an hour or two sometimes if you're unlucky um, but if you're just interested in unlocking the engineer, I suggest you can just head back to your ship and uh, let's head back to fast here. So once you're back, you have handed in your exploration data, you've got yourself to the scout rank if you wasn't already. You can go here and you can now hand in that meta alloy uh, in the engineering um, engineering workshop, is that what it's called? I think it is. Yeah, engineering workshop here, in here. You should be able to hand in, there should be like a donation box here where you can hand in that meta alloy, which will unlock the engineer. Now, you might have to go back to the main menu and back into the game for the whole interface to unlock properly. Um, so, to do that, and now you can see the different types of, um, of engineering upgrades that, that, that she does. And the most um, useful one is, of course, the Grade 5 Frameshift Drive. I haven't unlocked it all the way, actually, and used some other engineers for, for frames. There are other engineers that does the same upgrades. Um, I think worth noticing, noticing is there's no shipyard here. So, if you're planning to transfer a ship over, you will have to go to one of the other stations in system and transfer to that station and then fly it down here if we're going to open up the map. So I suggest you use this station because they have a large landing pad. Um, but you can use any of the systems, so stations in system to, to get your ship here if you're not going to fly it yourself. Now in terms of outfitting, I'm not going to go over everything. I just want to make a comment on the frameshift drives available here because it is actually limited. You can see here 6B, 5B, 4B, if you want to have an A-rated uh, frameshift drive here, you can get a 3A and a 2A. That's the only ones available in A-class. So keep that in mind that you will, in most cases, actually need to um, to bring the frameshift drive yourself. Another thing worth mentioning is that, of course, because she does thruster upgrades, she also sells the enhanced performance thrusters, which only comes in grade 2 and 3. But if you're building a high-speed ship or a small ship, I would recommend putting some of these on. They are a very good gives you some nice performance increase um, so that's also a nice thing by having a uh, having her unlocked but I think that's uh, that's pretty much all there is to it um, I hope you found the video useful and let me uh, let me know in the comment section what uh, what you think of this kind of a uh, small series where I go with engineers I mean I know Farsia is very one of the easier ones to unlock and there will be more difficult ones later on um, where there will be a little bit more content so just to get things started, we we'll started for Fashia and also because she opens up to other engineers later on. Um, but that's going to be in a later video. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.